Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Venkatesh. This is DevOps Pro Junction YouTube channel. I am going to explain about in this video about data block. Before that, I am making lot of effort with DevOps and uh, I am I am making lot of tutorials. So, uh, if you like this video, give you a thumbs up, share your comments in the comment section. So that will be encourage me to make lot of videos. I hope you will find this videos are useful. So let's dive into topic. So coming to the uh, data block. So what is basically data block? So data block is something you have already in the AWS account, which may be created by your console. It is not under managed by Terraform. So you would like to bring into Terraform uh, control for this, you are going to use the data block. So I have total two TF files. So here you can see provider.tf and here you can see main.tf. So here I have one resource block and I have variable block and you can see the data block as well. When it comes to resource block, I am going to create AWS subnet. So, and I have also the variable block. Here I have the variable name of VPC ID. So what is the variable here? I'm going to define the value as some live, which is working with VPC. So here you can see the configuration when it comes to this um, in the Mumbai region, I have this default VPC. I would like to use this VPC, but it, which is not created or which is not controlled under the Terraform here. So I have taken this value and giving here it has a variable uh, default value here and then i created the data block so when it comes to data block you are going to give some value uh, which is uh, something your user defined and here i am giving to aws vpc which is some defined value so this is the resource block usually we use aws under vpc same which is going to use here as a data block also and you can give some some name whatever you like here i'm giving as a selector and here i'm giving some argument which is id equal to here i'm giving the variable dot vpc id so this variable is taken by the here and each it is going to uh, consider without creating vpc it will take that value so uh, what it will do usually to create this subnet under this VPC, it is going to create this subnet. So, uh, so like that, I am going to give here. So uh, for example, if I created another VPC by console and uh, what I, there will be some uh, VPC ID. So that also I can use it for uh, this here, uh, this uh, data block. So like that, you can create the data block and you can bring under those resources into the uh, Terraform. So uh, when it comes to, let's see the demo here. Uh, when, when you see this demo, Terraform plan here. So basically it is going to create one subnet. That subnet comes under this VPC. You can see this. You can see here, basically it is reading this data block. First, it will read this data block and identify the value which I have given here. Come ending with 219. This is my VPC. And under this VPC, you can see that it is using this VPC. It is going to create this subnet. So like this, you can create this data block. Also, you can refer the documentation. So here, for example, here I have the data block, which is for AWS instance. And I need the AMI, which is already existed. So for that, I given AWS dot uh, data dot the always the value should be uh, starting with the data and the value and uh, your user defined value like this you have to given so like this um, it is going to consider this ami so before that you have to create this uh, data block and where it will fetch this value and uh, same the scenario i have created with the vpc i hope you got some idea so if you have any doubts, you can give and you under your uh, comments uh, with the uh, your doubts so I can clarify that. I hope you find this video helpful. If you find this video helpful, give thumbs up, subscribe my channel, follow for the more videos. And thanks for watching.